Right now, tens of thousands of folks headed home after day one of <laughs> Music Midtown. Yeah, they just wrapped up on tonight's final stage. Minutes ago, CBS 46's Melissa Stern was, of course, there for all the action. There's good food, good music, good company. What more could you ask for? More than 50,000 people are expected here this weekend, and the good news is there's still time to join the fun. Enjoy a music festival with my friends. Sit down, relaxing, and just listen to music. It's the first day of the 25th year of Music Midtown, and 50,000 plus people will congregate in Piedmont Park for the festivities. This is a much more chill environment than a lot of other music festivals, and I really like the lineup. The lineup includes celebrities from all genres, and people spent hundreds of dollars. Definitely, definitely worth it. And traveled from all over to see them. Quinn and Travis Scott. Music Midtown is the biggest music festival in Atlanta and one of the biggest in the country. Organizers say they start planning for the performers a year in advance and it creates some serious revenue for the city. It's uh, got a long history. It's a great economic driver for the city. It generates $50 million over the weekend for the city of Atlanta. While it's typically held in the fall for cooler weather, this year they had to plan for the heat. And usually hot for this time of year. We're encouraging everybody to wear a hat, wear sunscreen, you know, dress in light clothing. Don't overexert yourself. You know, if you bring a, you can bring a sealed bottle of water, or you can bring an empty water bottle. We have free water stations on site. Attendees say, hot or cold, rain or shine, it's a weekend they look forward to every year. I think it's mainly about the music, and it's just a different atmosphere. People can dress how they want to. Uh, eat some good food. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.